must find the bandit camp. Oh, thank you, Guildmaster, who strangely sounds like a friend of mine. Hello, guys, this is Guy Christian 9 here again with another Fable Lost Chapters. Today, I am doing the Twin Blade mission, known as Find the Blind, Blind Cirrus. Now, um, as you've read in the description, I had a very big snafu with the audio this time, so uh, sorry if this inconveniences any of you guys, but um, I did the best I could to re you know, do some of the stuff, so you won't hear me grunting or anything unless I do it on purpose. But anyways, we have to head to the cliff top. Oh yeah, uh, make sure you don't take out weapons in towns, but go to the cliff top path, which is on the beach, and... need to sneak past those bandits to reach their camp. Okay. If any of them see you, they'll raise the alarm and lock the gate. What? That's crap. And if that happens, you must stay hidden for a short time before the gates reopen. I'd say I just set them on fire and watch them dance into hell. But anyways, uh, yes, you start out on the cliff top path, and this little area here is probably the most annoying part of the mission, because there are two ways you can do it. The first way is to just sneak past these guys, but the second way is to kill them. <laughs> yes. So, um, uh, there are two boats that you need to know about this mission that, um, you know. Uh, one of them involves not killing a single bandit, and in order to do that, you gotta do, um, you know, sneak through this little area here. But anyways, yeah, I skipped ahead because this is where you get in position to kill the second bandit, and you gotta do it real quick, otherwise he'll see you. But, um, the other one involves killing 24 bandits, and that's really easy to do in the next area, but, um, it's really easy just to kill the three bandits in this area, because it saves you a lot of trouble sneaking and all that. And if you have an accuracy of about 4 or 3, you should be fine as long as you have the up-to-date arrow. But anyways, uh, I just killed the last of the guys and break over these barrels and I find a tattoo. And so let's go into this next area. And there's no more sneaking, which is nice. But anyways, let's go to the abandoned road. You heard what happened to Stern? No, I didn't. No. What did the idiot do this time? Oh, how rude. He only lost his bloody cap in a raid. Uh, it was a week before he could get back in the camp. Yeah, you can't get in unless you're in full gear these days. What's on his forehead? If you ask me, old Twin Blade's getting a bit jumpy. Don't know what's gone into him. I have. Hey, who's that? I'm like, what? Who's what? Anyways, yes, this is the abandoned road. Picture some dramatic fighting music. Anyways, uh, the, the abandoned road is probably the longest area in the entire game. Uh, or it's close to it. Um, because you can see the map is like really zoomed out. And as you can see, there are a ton of bandits in this area. So um, I don't know how to do the um, don't kill a single bandit thing in this particular area. I guess you just rush through and just like, you know, run away, like King Arthur. But um, basically what you can do is um, use your bow to kill the guys you can from a distance, which will happen quite a few times. And if any of them get too close, just start going to town at them with their with your bow. See, that guy nearly gets me. hi -ya! Yeah! 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 And see, see, there's a leader, and the leader gives me a little trouble, too. But, oh, look at that. Oh, through the heart. Yeah, they're not as bad as Hobbs, though. God, do I hate Hobbs. But, uh, yeah, you're going to be killing a lot of bandits in this mission, so, just so you know. So, yeah, um, but it, if you're wondering why you had those two bandits talk to you, you need what's in these chests. There are five chests along this path, and you get a piece of bandit apparel. What you have to do is you have to have all five pieces of the bandit armor in order to get into Twin Blades camp. Otherwise, you're screwed. Sorry if the music's a little loud. Like I said, I'm doing the best I can. But anyways, uh, I'm sniping more bandits off. And well, I guess I'll talk a little more. Um, like I said, this this incident should only be happen. I mean, it should only happen probably this video and the next video because I come, you know, recorded both at the same time. So uh, hopefully, never this will never happen again unless I did it on like you guys really wanted it me to. Whatever. But anyways, uh, kill off these bandits in the tower, and next to the tower you'll find the second bandit chest. 
And that'll get a bandit shirt. So we have the boots and the shirt. And uh, you can break down a few of the barrels here. You'll get a few items. But anyways, uh, yeah, the abandoned road is just one long gauntlet of bandit killing. So you see I snipe off another one there. And so he's paralyzed. Lol, that's always fun to happen. Yeah, as you can see, I beat up my character yet again. He, um, at this point, uh, when your physique is to like four or something, you start to see your character um, beef up, like your physique and health. Uh, yeah, your your character starts getting pretty large, and you know, a shiny a shiny chainmail always looks nice in the sun. But anyways, um, yeah, clear out these bandits here. One ran up that staircase, so we'll deal with him in a minute. Um. There's some more barrels here. There's bandit chest number three. And opening that gets us... Doo -doo -doo, bandit trousers! So we have the shirt, trousers, and boots. So all we need, I believe, is the... Oh, look, an Aegis of Skill Potion. All we need is the cap, which uh, Stern lost, but we'll find one. And gloves. So, yep, more bandits. And I, I believe I get the uh, boast, like, really soon. So, yeah, you kill 24 bandits pretty quickly. That guy won't die. Hiya, yeah, ting, cha, cha, cha. Oh, I did. Okay, so there's another one dead. Uh, two more in the tower. There's, uh, I don't know how they don't see me, honestly. But, um... All right, that guy. That, and look, 24 bandits slaughtered. I like how they call it slaughtered. But um, uh, there's no um, alignment penalties or bonuses for um, killing the guys or doing the sneaking things. It says, you know, more money. But you get a lot more money if you don't kill a single one, and you could probably understand why. All right, so I'm getting close to the end of the abandoned road. Um, a few more bandits to snipe off. The last two chests will be in this little notch here, too. Or at least close to each other. Um, oh, whoa, where did he come from? He hurt me, too. Yeah. I'm a pretty powerful one, aren't I? But yes, here's chest number four. And this contains the bandana. So all we need now is gloves. Alright, so, yeah, you'll get a nice bit... Oh, there's bandit chest number five. See? really close to each other, guys, so do not miss that. Anyways, yeah, there are the gloves. So now we technically have the entire bandit ensemble. Now all we need to do is just get the bandit camp. You must find the bandit camp, as Guildmaster tactfully said at the beginning of this. Oh, slow motion twirl. Yeah, I upgraded, uh, slow... Oh, no, 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 I did, I did that after the mission. My bad. But anyways, um... You'll find a big concentration of bandits in this next area, near a demon door. Uh, that particular demon door, uh, you need to have three specific costumes. And um, one of the costumes you get inside another demon door, the one at Darkwood, I believe. The one that this music is after. And is getting loud. And uh, another one involves buying uh, some plate mail. And the third one is the bandit costume, actually. Alright, so I use an Ages of Skill Potion, I get 18,000 experience points. Because I did an 18 times multiplier. Alright, so there's one more bandit here, so I'm going to finish him off. With another tactfully aimed bow shot. Alright, now, remember to go around to the left of the demon door. Like, around, and you'll find a final treasure chest. There's no bandit stuff in here, but you'll find... A resurrection file. So I have plenty of resurrection. So at this point, I go ahead and switch my clothing from the bright chainmail to bandit. As you can see, I've gotten gruff and muscular. Oh, look at that sexy figure. But yes, uh, just follow this path up, and looky there, we're in Twin Blades Camp. We found it. And I'll talk to this Hello, guy. Hello, mate. Nice bandit gear. This here is Twin Blades Camp. Once you're in, you're in for good. So feel free to get changed when you're inside. Hello, come in, Joe. Open the gates. Hey, hey I stealthily snuck in. I should be a secret agent. 
But yes, he says um, you can uh, switch your clothes if you want now, but I keep it until the final battle. And he goes, yes, this is Twin Blades Camp. And uh, before, uh, this is pretty much where I'm going to stop off because I don't have enough time. Anyways, uh, before you do anything, go to, the, uh, go to the left of the pub and you'll find a barrel with an Ages of Will potion. And the second barrel here will contain a health potion. You'll find a digging spot that has a silver key, and that chest should have 500 gold. Alright, so again, I must apologize for the way things turned out. I'll make sure this never happens again, like I said. Uh, anyways, you don't want to hear that. This is Guy Christian 9. I hope you enjoyed this improvised fable video. The next, we fight Twinblade.